Good morning. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Morgan, and I am making this video at 9.47 in the morning. It's not that early, but uh, I haven't quite gotten ready for the day exactly fully. Um, I already start my day at like 6.35 in the morning, 6.50, something like that. But I just wanted to encourage you, first off, to, if you have any visions that God has given you, um, there are some visions, of course, that, actually I should say, every single vision that you get, you should pray on it. Definitely pray on it. Um, ask God what exactly He wants you to do, because there's always steps. There's always a goal that God has for you. Um, sometimes He just wants you to birth a vision and then pass it on to somebody else. And that's a little challenging for some of us when we're so used to being in control of things and all that. Believe me, I've had to go through that molding process and actually have to pass things on like that. But just remember, God is always in charge. Let Him be in charge. And you'll always, of course, be successful in his eyes. It's not about being successful in everybody else's eyes. So, write down the visions. Um, there's always details, of course. There's preparation. Everybody thinks, well, I'm going to get the desires of my heart. But if you don't want to work and you don't want to put in the time and the effort and the sweat and the tears and whatever else, then it doesn't mean it's going to come to be. Because if you're not prepared for it, God's not going to bring it. Like a lot of people say, we're going to minister to this many people. But if you don't prepare, God's not going to bring that many people because we have to be ready for that harvest especially. Um, for those visions though, you want to write them down, you want to write, write down any details, you could give them to you one by one every single day, you can write down and set a day apart if you have the time or a certain amount of time that you just basically meditate on it and meditate on God's word. Um, a lot of times we want to talk, 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 but we don't really want to wait and hear his voice and just worship him and just be in that, that atmosphere where basically we can listen and not talk so much um where we're so focused and our mind isn't taken up by everything because people today they're like busy 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 and that's a choice everybody says we're busy 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 but that's a choice to be that way so the question is what are we busy with are we busy with the visions of god are we busy with whatever we feel like doing because a lot of people say i think i'm where i'm supposed to be well if you're guessing like that i'm pretty sure that's not exactly what god told you if you're like i think Usually it would be like, okay, well, you meditated on it, you prayed about it, you asked God. And a lot of people think of this as like a religious thing, but it's not really religious. I mean, God is not a religion, religion is not God. Jesus came to abolish religion, so that has nothing to do with it. This is about a relationship with God. Some people say that they don't communicate with God, that they don't talk to Him. They think, oh, well, where I am is exactly where I'm supposed to be. But why does God tell us to ask Him for things? Why does God say to talk to him to pray with him it's just a conversation that doesn't be have to be like oh holy it doesn't have to be formal it's just a relationship it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation with god um writing down the visions writing down every single detail that god has given you um some visions just to warn you it doesn't mean just because you get them at that moment or or the pieces or the whole at that moment that you're supposed to birth that at that moment so just remember for instance i was given a vision that i'm barely being led to completely bring forth piece by piece of cultural fusion if, if uh, on facebook i have a flyer up basically we're doing winter drive i'm doing winter drive um to get umbrellas and raincoats and things like that to help the people i mean we could talk about jesus and all that but we still got to help feed them and clothe them and stuff like that right so um it's been seven years, actually, that I've had that vision. Seven years ago, piece by piece, throughout the years, I've been given the vision, and it's multiple departments. So that's just an example, that if you have a vision, pray on it. Don't tell everybody about it. You're not supposed to do that. Sometimes God will say, shut up, don't say nothing, and literally, shut up. <laughs> when you have that relationship with God, yeah, sometimes it does. Just flat out say, shut up, because He knows you. He knows you better than you know you, and everybody else. So um, write the visions down. Write every single detail that he gives you. Um, if there's anything that you're questioning, ask him. Don't have to go and ask everybody in the mama. Let's <laughs> just say, um, there's always certain steps that God wants you to go through though. You always have to prepare for the harvest. Remember that, always preparing for what is to come. So if you don't do the preparation, he's not gonna bring it. So I encourage you today to be inspired, to be motivated, to not just sit around and kind of niche and kind of think and kind of hope, you know, that kind of thing. Um, especially because thinking too much can get you in trouble. The battlefield of the mind, who likes to play up there? You got to kick out all those negative thoughts, all the negative what ifs. 
Um, but just I encourage you, no matter what, to focus. If people want to say you should do this, you should do that, da, 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 da. I've literally had God tell me to do this. To cover my ears and not listen to anybody else. Because when we get so jumbled in our thoughts, a lot of times it blocks what God's trying to tell us. So if somebody says you should do this, you should do that, take it into consideration, but pray on it and make sure that it's from God and Him specifically instructing you. All right? I also encourage you to be you. That's another thing. Don't change because somebody doesn't like something of how you are. Only change with what God wants to change in you. Let Him be the one that's transforming you by the renewal of your mind, as the, as the Word says. Let Him be the one who's making and molding you, who's loving on you that way. Because if people just want to change things and criticize and critique and always be cynical about something, a lot of times it's envy, jealousy, or they're just flat out unhappy. So I encourage you to be you, not do you, how people say, I'm going to do me. Not do you, but do God. Do God's will. Live in His will. Walk in His will. And you can't go wrong no matter what. Alright? God bless. Peace.